Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your CNY Central First Alert weather forecast. Seems to be going on schedule like we had talked about earlier this morning. The fog and clouds burned off to some sun. And then right as we got in towards the midday hours, little spritzes and little showers have been kind of slowly marching through. After that goes through your area, 81 quarter at around noon and then getting to the east after that, we're going to develop more sunshine. And that should still get us to at least 70. And you get towards the finish of the afternoon and towards this evening, and we have a renewed threat for scattered showers or maybe even a thunder shower. Looks like temperatures tomorrow should be cooler than today. Kind of a smorgasbord forecast today because, well, smorgasbord's kind of a little bit of everything. Got that buffet out for you. We had the fog and clouds earlier. That was the appetizer. Got some sun. A little sprinkle as a, a part of the main entree. And we're also throwing in that sun again this afternoon and a chance of a shower or a thunder shower later this afternoon. High near 70 is seasonably warm for this time of year. Now, it is going to be cooler tomorrow. Really wouldn't be surprised if many areas do not get out of the 50s. Syracuse tends to run warmer than everybody else, so could we hit 60? Yeah, but I think most of the time we'll play in the upper 50s. And it's still a little unsettled, which means we've got the threat for some more of these little spritzes and sprinkles around the area with some breaks of sun. It still looks like we've got better weather for the finish of the week and to at least parts of the weekend. Now here's the future cast, and it's not going to look exactly like this on the radar, but it gives you the feel that once you approach the very finish of the afternoon and evening, that's when we have our high temperature near 70 and we've got some instability for scattered showers. Then actually a coastal storm will give rain. You may have noticed on the right side of your screen, right about in the Hudson Valley and the Catskills, some rain. And while we won't get that particular rainfall, what it will do is yank down a north by northwest wind. It's not really lake effect because the air isn't quite cold enough, but there's plenty of moisture in the air and you get an upslope flow and it's a little bit of enhancement. So the point is during the pre-dawn hours of tomorrow and through at least tomorrow morning, there will likely be at minimum cloud cover over a good chunk of the area and likely probably some sprinkles and light showers. And that's probably going to be very stubborn in the areas Route 20 South, not just in the morning, but probably through the day because that northwest wind goes up the elevations. Having said that, there will probably be some breaks to sun. Even with some limited sunshine, we'll still mainly be in the 50s. And then actually we once again fill up the skies with new cumulus clouds and probably a good chance for some late afternoon showers from Oneida Lake North. And that basically does it right. It does. It will feel fallish tomorrow. 50s? That's kind of october -y, isn't it? Not like the middle of May. Normal high should be in the upper 60s now. A few showers left over. Renegade Thursday night, especially in the Adirondacks. While Friday may have a little extra cloud cover early, I do expect the sun to either come out bright at some point during the midday or mid-morning hours. And if some spots get stuck, we'll certainly all be rather sunny later in the afternoon. And that should count for a bounce back in the temperature department Friday as we make the low to mid 60s, which is getting back to that normal of about 67. We should do even better Saturday. I was worried we might be a little cooler, but now I've seen some new information to reinvigorate 70s a little more firmly in the forecast for Saturday. Here's the amount of sunshine total today and tomorrow and yeah, less than 50%, but we should increase that to 80% on Friday. Like we've been mentioning, the probability you get a little rain or a shower today and tomorrow is high. But the amount of the day filled with rain is low. So not as much rain certainly as yesterday's record amount. You can see the variable temperatures coming up. Check out the radar on our website, cnycentral.com.